Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have 25 to the power of c plus 5 to the power of c equals to 650 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So here uh, you focus on the base of this term. So we have the base of 25, uh, the base of this term is 25. So we write first 25 into the prime factors form. Uh, so the prime factors of 25 are 5 square so we will replace this 25 equals to 5 square and its whole exponent is c plus this is 5 to the power of c equals to 650. So here in the next step we need to apply here uh, another exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of uh, n m multiplied by n according to this exponent law we need to multiply these two exponents or in other words uh, we uh, write this form of exponent law here uh, we just interchange these two exponents and we write here a to the power of n to the power of m then in both of these cases we get the same answer this okay so but here uh, in this question we need to interchange these two exponents uh, so we cannot multiply the numbers we just interchange the exponent and we move this c inside the term and we move this to outside the brackets and we will write it as uh, this will be written as 5 to the power of c and its whole square plus 5 to the power of c equals to 650 and now in the next step uh, we you see here we have the base of these two terms are same and that is 5 to the power of c so that uh, we will take uh, here y equals to 5 to the power of c it means that we replace 5 to the power of c equals to y so it will be written as y square plus y equals to 650 so you see here uh, after substituting y equals to 5 to the power of c we will get our above exponential equation into the quadratic form and now here our next claim is to find the roots of this quadratic equation so you know that we have three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method the second method is completing square and the third method is the quadratic formula so you can choose any one of these three methods in order to solve this quadratic equation first we move the 650 in the left hand side and it will be written as y square plus y minus 650 equals to 0 so because uh, here we can just make the factors of this quadratic equation uh, so that uh, we need to break its middle term so here in other words we need any two numbers whose sum is 1 and whose product is 650 so we have uh, these two numbers are whose sum is 1 and product is minus 650 these two numbers are 26 multiplied by minus 25 we will write it here this is 26 multiplied by minus 25 we know that 26 times of minus 25 equals to minus 650 and when we will uh, sum up these two numbers then we will get here plus 1 so that now we multiply this term with uh, y because we need our plus y term so that here we multiply both of the sides by y so you get 26y minus 25y equals to y it means that we need to replace this y equals to 26y minus 25y and we replace this minus 650 equals to 26 multiplied by minus 25 so we replace these two values in this equation so that after replacing these values we will get our this equation as in this form so first we have y square and this is y so we replace our y equals to 26y minus 25y and we replace this minus 650 equals to plus 26 multiplied by minus 25 and this whole equation equals to 0 so now here uh, we need more simplifications and now we will take common y from the first two terms uh, 
uh, and when you take common y here we get y and plus when you take common y from here we will obtain 26 only and from these two terms you see here we have minus 25 be the common term so when you take common minus 25 we will get the remaining terms are here we get y only and here we get uh, this plus 26 and this whole equation equals to 0. So further uh, you see here we have y plus 26 be the uh, common factor so that we take common y plus 26 and we get the remaining values are y minus 25 equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we can apply the zeros identity we know that if you have uh, two numbers whose product equals to 0 then this implies that a equals to 0 either uh, either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0 so according to this fact uh, we replace y plus 26 equals to 0 or we will write y minus 25 equals to 0 okay so from this factor we get the value of y equals to minus 26 or from here we get the value of y equals to 25. So here we get uh, these two values of y but now here our uh, main target is to find the values of c. So that uh, to find the values of c we need to move backward and we substitute back the values of y. So we have the values of y is 5 to the power of c we substitute both of values here so it will become 5 to the power of c equals minus 26 or 5 to the power of c equals to 25 okay so here uh, first we focus on this case and here you see that uh, this is the exponential function this is the negative value we know that exponential function always gives us the positive value so it is not possible an exponential function uh, equals to some negative value so that uh, we will reject it this case because this case is not possible uh, for further proceeding to the value of c so we rejected this case and here we can just proceed this case only and from this case we easily get the values of c so here uh, we first focus in the right hand side and we have this is 25 so we write 25 as 5 square and now here we, we need to apply uh, the exponent law you know that uh, uh, if we have a to the power of m equals to a to the power of n so if you have bases are same then we equate its exponents and we will get m equals to n so according to this exponent law you see here bases are same we create its exponents and we finally we get the value of c is equals to 2 this is the final answer of this question and now we need to verify this value of c is this value of c is satisfied our given question statement or not so that we copy down given question statement it is 25 to the power of c plus 5 to the power of c equals to 650 and now we can put the value of c here and we get 25 square plus 5 square and we check that is this equals to 650 so 25 square equals to 625 and this 5 square equals to 25 and you clearly see that uh, 650 equals to 650 this shows that the value of c satisfied the given question statement this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos